Hi, this is Crafton Kelly. I want to show you how to open up a PDF file in Silhouette Studio if you're using a Windows-based system um, that doesn't involve getting uh, opening Photoshop elements because I know a lot of you don't have that. So what you need to do is open a free, a free program called Bullzip PDF Printer. I'll give you the link on my blog. Just download it and go ahead and install it. And then you need to go find the PDF file that you want to trace, that you want to open and trace. So I've got a PDF file called Good Day Cupcake Wraps by Scrap and Fonts. I'm just going to double click on that. It'll open up in Adobe Reader. And I'm going to click Print, but I'm not going to actually print it right now my print dialog box will open up and I can change from my normal printer to Bullzip PDF printer. Go ahead and choose that and click print and again it's not going to print for you it's going to open up options to save this as another file, top, file type. So in my general tab of Bullzip PDF printer change the format to PNG that will open it the same size as you expect, an 8.5 by 11 in most cases. And then choose where you want to save it and what name to save it under. I have a folder on my computer called Silhouette and a subfolder I've made called Images to Trace. So anything I want to make a print and cut for, um, I will put it in this folder. Click Save, and on Windows 7 at least, when it's ready, I get a little pop-up box down on the lower right-hand corner, right there, and it will open the document. Now this one is a PNG, it looks exactly the same as the PDF file. So now I'm going to go back to Silhouette Studio and I'm going to open that PNG file. Click Open. You have to actually change it from Silhouette Studio down here for file types. You can go to All Files or PNG. Find the file that you just saved. Click OK. And it will open this file for you, the PNG. When we're ready to Let's go ahead. I know I'm going to make a print and cut, so I'm going to change it to letter size, choose my mat, turn on my registration marks. I'm going to go to my trace window, select trace area, turn off high pass filter, increase the threshold to let you fill with yellow. There we go. I'm going to use the trace and detach option just because it will cut it out for me from the background and m make each of these pieces movable on their own. I'll delete the background. Sometimes there's some extra little stuff in there. Okay, so now I need to actually go in with the trace and detach option. You have to turn on the cut lines in your cut style window now they're ready. And actually I think I'm going to change this to landscape and see how many of those I can fit on my page. Alright, so maybe I can get three of the four on there. But anyway, now that's a print and cut document that I used to open from a PDF file, quickly change it to a PNG file so I could trace it. If you have any questions, please let me know.